Hey guys, look folk here, and welcome to another FIFA 21 player review. And today, guys, we're going to be reviewing the new Footmas Daily SBC, or should I say Foot Freeze uh, Daily SBC. Jose Gaya from Valencia, probably the most drastic um, position change that we have seen for one of these daily foot freeze SBCs. So if I'm going from a left back to a striker, uh, I did go ahead and complete his loan SBC. Three games played with him, nine goals scored and one assist. He does also have uh, four star skill moves as well as freestyle. Big foot getting into his in-game stats. He has some top in-game stats to be fair. I mean, he's got 86 agility, 96 positioning, 89 stamina, 87 ball control, 88 reactions, 86 short passing. Uh, so quite a few good stats all around there. I did just have the basic chemistry that applied to him and finishing with the player traits. He has the AI trait, a technical dribbler as well as the solid player and team player traits. And I have to say, guys, I have to say, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised with Jose Gaia. And listen, I did the SBC analysis video a little bit earlier on today. And um, first of all, I was a bit disappointed on the whole, with, with, you know, with the contents day from EA. I would like to have seen a guaranteed Team of the Week pack for the Team of the Week that we just had. I, I was a bit surprised that we didn't get one. We got the base icon pack again. Uh, it should have really been the mid icon pack, in my personal opinion. I just don't see why I put that back, unless we're going to get more prime icon SBCs, maybe over the next few days that might require icons or whatever. But um, but yeah, Jose Gaia came, and I was a bit disappointed because it just seems so weird using a left back, or well, his, his usual position is as a left back, despite the fact that his stats have been completely changed so that they tailor towards being used as a striker. It just doesn't seem right using him as a striker. It seems really, really weird. Uh, some of you guys might not be too bothered about that, but for me, I just, I don't like it. But having said that, 10 goal contributions in three games. This guy knows where the back of the net is. He's actually a really, really good finisher. I mean, his finishing stats, to be fair, are uh, the decent, not the most insane, but his positioning at 96 is absolutely incredible. 86 finishing as well as decent. 85 shot power, which was the basic chemist that goes up to 90 as well, which is uh, pretty decent. Um, but yeah, you know, he could just find the back of the net for me. And, and I said in the SBC analysis video that I was a bit concerned with the fact that he would, you know, his preferred foot was the left foot, and I got a freestyle weak foot and a four. Typically, I don't really do well when, when a, a player. An attacking player has got that sort of combination, but um, it just wasn't the case today. He was just on it from the word go, and uh, and it really, really was good. So um, I think the majority of the goals were his left foot. I can recall one goal being scored with his right foot uh, from from close range. He he did have a couple of penalties as well, which he put away quite nicely. But um, but yeah, his shooting couldn't force it. His pace as well. He is quick. 86 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. The uh, sprint speed goes up even further with the basic chem style. Uh, and because of like how good his dribbling sets are as well, he feels even quicker. He is pretty short. He's only five for eight, which again I was a little bit concerned by. I thought that might be a little bit of a problem with the fact that he really is short. But um, but you know it was fine in game. You know it, he he felt really really quick. He can he can burst past opposition players. He's very very quick on the turn as well, being able to get away from defenders and stuff like that. So uh, his pace was solid, and also his dribbling once more really really good. Feels nice and smooth on the ball, nice and agile. Um, really really good, and just being able to take on opposition defenders uh you know um using the the, the you know the fake shot step overs and stuff like that is, is obviously really effective with this card the basic chem style gets a drilling up to 89 his ball control and his agility both go into the low 90s and he was just a nice smooth card he, he really really impressed me and the SBC is coming in on all three uh so on the xbox uh playstation and now pc because someone wanted me to add the pc section um, so I've added that part now. So he's going for around about 60,000, 65,000 coins. I run about that mark. Is it worth it? I don't know because, well, I mean, he played fantastic in game, but, but, you know, for me, he's an SBC that I wouldn't personally consider because as, as good as he was to use and, and he was good, it just doesn't seem right using him as a striker. I don't know. That's just me personally. I just didn't. I almost didn't like it. It was really, really weird. Uh, you know, despite playing so well in game, it just it didn't. I, 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 I don't know. So using like a Marquinhos as a CDM card is really, really cool because it's not much of a position change. But the drastic position change from a left back to it to a striker just didn't. I, I just don't like it almost. Uh, maybe that's just me, like, being a bit weird there with that. But, um, I mean, you can go and get, from the end of the season's progress, you can get an 86 Yogo Aspas for free. 
you know, uh, and obviously this car will cost 60,000 coins to complete, but I'd probably say, you know, based on having used him in-game, he got me 10 gold contributions. It, it, compared to the two other SPCs we've had from the past two days, in Saudi and Bailey, he is better value for money than them, but so far, nothing can rival the Marquinhos SPC. That one is still being by far the best SPC that we've had for Freeze, for the Freeze promo so far, but this one, it's decent. I can understand people doing it. I think he would be a good addition to people's La Liga teams and stuff, but um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I was, just, I was pleasantly surprised at how he played in-game, but it's still a card that I personally will not be doing but anyway guys hopefully you have enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys later